Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a new app that just arrived in the Daydream Play Store. It's the New York Times VR. My name is Sebastian and this video is for Daydream District, bringing you the latest news and reviews about Google Daydream VR. Yeah, so what's this app about? Well, just like the Wall Street Journal before or the USA Today, this app is about content curation. The New York Times has curated lots of beautiful 360 degrees videos that they present to you in this beautiful app. As you can see, there are quite a lot of them and we're going to jump in two of the videos, have a look, get a feel for it. And just like before, I'm not going to comment on the videos. I will just leave you and have a, have a look at them. The virtual place that we're at is beautiful again. We are in some huge room with a backdrop of the mountains and it's simply fantastic where we are brings us. So now let's jump into one of the videos. Out here on the edge of the solar system, three billion miles from the warmth of the sun, a planet has spun through the void, unseen and unknown for millennia. Pluto, a ball of ice and rock, dancing an endless waltz with its gray moon, Charon. From the darkness behind you, an invader appears, silhouetted by the pale sun. A plutonium-powered spacecraft, shrouded in gold foil, bristling with cameras and sensors. New Horizons was the fastest spacecraft ever launched, built to end decades of ignorance about this most distant realm of the solar system. A robotic emissary from Earth on a one-way mission to the unknown. After nine and a half years of travel, New Horizons had reached its goal. But it would have only one chance, a few precious hours of swiveling and clicking, to map Pluto's surface, sniff its atmosphere, and study its moons. One short flyby to plumb a planet's mysteries or fail in the attempt. On July 14th, 2015, Earth time, success. New horizons flashed through the skies of Pluto, peering down at a rugged world of ice and frost unfolding in slow motion. Mighty mountain ranges stained brown and red. Dark highlands scarred with craters from a violent past. Bright sheets of ice, forming a pale heart across Pluto's surface. And nestled above the western curve of Pluto's heart, a chaotic jumble of peaks, the Aladrisi Mountains. Look around. Exotic ices shift under your feet. You are standing where no known creature has ever stood. To either side and behind you, pink mountains of water ice rise as high as the Rockies. Climbing one would not take long. In Pluto's weak gravity, you are as light as a house cat back home. But home is a decade away, low on the horizon, somewhere in the glow of the distant sun. To your right, an icy plain stretches hundreds of miles across Pluto's heart, broken and cracked by deep canyons. The moon Charon looms on the horizon. Its surface looks split, evidence perhaps of an underground ocean that froze. Okay, that was already very interesting. I'm not sure if you could see it in the YouTube video, but when you were in VR, it was kind of pixelated. 
so it was not really sharp it was okay but i'm sure there's better there's better footage let's jump into the next one Marine researchers Fabrice Schnoller and Fred Buell are trying to see the world through the eyes of dolphins and whales. Free diving is the best way to, to interact with these animals. It's not only going into the water without a tank holding your breath. Freediving is like a state of mind. You enter into their world and the animals. They're not afraid. I'm trying to understand what's in their mind when they come to us. Okay, that was great. That was already much better in terms of resolution and looked really fantastic. It's simply amazing where you can go with VR and I'm looking forward to have a look at all these videos here. I think it's great that, that these publications like New York Times and USA Today embrace this medium and curate this awesome content for us so we don't have to look for it ourselves. So definitely a good app. That's it for this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on like and subscribe to never miss any of the Daydream District VR videos. Bye-bye.